So the 5GPP is not over. We are currently just beginning phase three. The first phase was looking at the fundamental 5G technology. We then have phase two, which is about halfway through now, which is looking at trying to bring the verticals in. Phase three, where we've just announced the first call, this is very much about trying to create, shall we say, innovation platforms. So trying to provide 5G infrastructure where others can build on top of that to innovate, and create products which are then sellable across the world. At the EU CNC uh, conference, we presented the first three projects of this uh, phase three, uh, with uh, 5G E, uh, 5G Vini, and uh, 5 uh, Genesis. And of course, this will continue. There will be an amount of uh, 200 million euros inside this phase three for the trials. ICT 19 calls and of course uh, new candidates are uh, welcome because those calls uh, involve consortia of uh, multiple uh, participants. We want to, to demonstrate with this topic the 5G applicability to vertical industries and to prepare for mature cross-sector business cases. So it's not only the technological validation, it's also the, uh, the economic uh, validation, the business validation of the vertical trials. What we aim at with the third phase is to get close enough to pre-commercial deployment in such a way that these vertical industries can not only validate the technology but also potential use cases. So they can say, OK, I can use this technology to do this, but I can make money out of this technology as well. So the moment they realize they can make a business out of 5G, there will be a natural uh, momentum to bring new players it's important to have more and more verticals and SMEs because we, we are approaching a concrete deployment phase. The more you move towards deployment and you get a little bit away from hardcore technologies, hardcore technologies is something which requires a huge amount of investment, so not so many companies can afford to go into these kind of things. But when you move towards uh, applications, uh, deployments and use cases, uh, there are naturally more occasions for new players, uh, newcomers. It's, it's a fertile environment for all of them, and in particular, of course, for SMEs. So uh, SMEs can find, in my opinion, a number of uh, key assets in these projects. The first one is, of course, shoulder-to-shoulder uh, -shoulder collaboration with uh, their potential partners and customers in the industry, of course. The second point is funding, and it's not only about money, it's about the steady and reliable cash flow which allows these SMEs to plan their growth. And the third point is, of course, marketing and visibility of their brands. How, how can uh, any new SME industry, any new organization get involved into the 5G PPP ecosystem? So you can either contact your national contact points at the level of your own member state. You can discuss with your uh, national administration and the national administration will give you uh, all the tricks to uh, get access to uh, European partners. Another possibility is to go to the 5GP website, 5GP.eu, uh, where there is a brokerage platform where uh, potentially interested participants can express what kind of company they are and what kind of partnership they are looking into. There is plenty of opportunity for newcomers.